Any delays in the construction of the controversial Ara and Kimura dams would have ended up costing taxpayers over SH 50 million a day. Considering that few if any projects are ever completed on schedule, the cost overruns from delays alone would be significant had it not been for recent interventions by the government. Failure to stick to agreed project timelines is among the many avenues exploited by contractors in collusion with government officials to steal over the years. An Italian anti-graft agency has released hitherto confidential tender documents for the two dams that reveal a skewed procurement process. The Elephant, a Kenyan digital publication, has since published what it terms as the real story behind the dam scam authored by Italian journalists Alessandro D. A. Rold and Lorenzo Bagnoli. According to the tender agreement, Erio Valley Development Authority, the employer, would pay a sum equivalent to 0.1% of the contract price for every day there was a delay in the construction of the two dams. The contract price was set at SH 50 billion. CMC di Ravenna, the troubled contractor that has since collapsed, was also allowed to vary the project cost by up to one-tenth of the contract price. This contract award did not have contingencies. However, during negotiations with the National Treasury, financiers and the employer, it has been decided to add 10% contingencies, reads one of the contracts in part. The contingency kitty should ordinarily be sufficient to cover unforeseen events that disrupt construction, such as the ongoing heavy rains. Granting the additional costs for delays would be granting the contractor another level of insurance, but at the expense of the public. Kim Waradam, whose construction has since been shelved, was the smaller project with a price tag of SH 20 billion, before applying the 10% variation. CMC di Ravenna working together with Itinera, another Italian firm, were to build ARA for SH 28 billion net of taxes and 0.1% price variation. President Uerl Kenyatta has since directed that the ARA project can continue, but with costs capped at SH 15.4 billion. The fate of the project, however, lies in limbo considering the financial headwinds that the contractor has run into and which have seen it file for bankruptcy protection. Revelations of graft relating to the procurement for the two dams have cost the jobs of several officials, including former National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich. More of Rotich's colleagues are due to face investigators this week over the similarly overpriced Itair Dam. CMC di Ravenna was the contractor but it has since deserted the site in Curesoi, Nekuru County, after pocketing SH 11 billion and leaving the project 10